Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you view menu in Adobe Illustrator. In order to learn view menu, first we need to take an object. So I am taking right now rectangle. So as you can see that right now I have rectangle and I will color it uh, red. Okay. So right now I have rectangle. Now what I do, uh, I will go uh, here and I will go in menu and I will click on uh, view. And as you can see that view all the options of view the first is outline so that's suppose if you want to see outline view so you can also see so what i do i will just simply click on outline and as you can see that now i'm just seeing the outline not the inner color not the uh, you can say any color will are getting me so let's suppose if you have object and if you just want to see outline or easy word you can say wireframe if you are using maya or if you are using another program so they may call it wireframe or wireframe means skeleton let's suppose if you can see that it's just a skeleton getting me so if we just if we just talk about ourselves so definitely uh, we have muscles or oh, getting me we have skin but let's suppose if we remove skin and muscles so definitely we have just skeleton huh? so same here if you would if you just want to see the skeleton or wireframe or just the outline of your object so what you need to do you need to just simply come in view and you, you just simply click on outline getting me and as you can see the outline and GPU preview means that it will show all the colors everything getting me then what do we have next we have preview on CPU on preview on GPU basically it affects uh, uh, it affects on graphics getting me so let's suppose if you want to if you want to see the good effect or if you want to see the color bright or definitely you can use GPU CPU okay it does not directly affect your object but definitely it is all about uh, you can say uh, graphic card getting me then what do we next we have over print preview so what basically our print preview is so let's suppose if I zoom out little bit so as you can see that this is the part okay this is the part where uh, where we cannot where we don't do print okay so let's suppose uh, if I have object as you can see that right now I have object here okay this is my page on easy word easy word we call page but in real it is artboard okay so this is artboard and this is out of the artboard getting me so let's suppose if you also want to see if I if I also want to see that uh, what the thing is out out of my artboard let's suppose if I'm zoom in too much and I'm just seeing the artboard but I also want to see the out of the artboard how can I see I have to come in view and I have to click on over print preview and if I zoom out a little bit and as you can see that now it is showing both objects getting me this is the outboard definitely this is artboard and this is out of the artboard object getting me so let's suppose if you want to see the object out of the artboard so what you need to do you need to just simply come in uh, view and in you simply click on our print view if i uncheck it as you can see that now we have this getting me out of the artboard object uh, then what do we have next we have pixel preview as you know that uh, in uh, in uh, Adobe Illustrator, we have paths, and definitely if we have paths, because we have paths, therefore if we zoom in too much, so nothing affects. Getting me? As you can see, that uh, we we are not seeing anything. Getting me? It's same. But if you talk about uh, uh, you can say for uh, Photoshop or any other normal picture, so if you zoom in too much, so definitely we get our pixel pixelated. So let's suppose if you want to see your pixel, uh, if you want to see your picture in the pixel, so how can you see? Uh, you need to just simply come in view and you need to simply click on pixel preview and now this this object is in pixel okay so let's suppose if i zoom in a little bit as you can see now showing boxes boxes getting are you seeing the boxes boxes these these boxes are showing that it is pixel get it, it is made up of pixels so let's suppose if you just want to see the pixel preview so you can see so now this object in, is in pixel getting me uh, then what do we next? Uh, I will definitely I'll check out. Here we have proof colors. Definitely you can also check the proof color. If you want to zoom in, zoom out. Definitely here we have the option. Uh, definitely zoom. Uh, definitely zoom tool. So all the options are here of zoom tool. Means if you want to zoom in, zoom out, fit to artboard, fit to all window, actual size. Definitely you can zoom here. Get me. Uh, then what do we next we have hide edges. So if I click on it, so it it, it do not show edges. For example, if uh, if I take uh, you can say this and if I color it uh, yellow okay so definitely it, 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 if I if I come here if I say that show edges so getting me I've seen the edges so if I zoom in a little bit okay just see here okay 
again I will go in view and this time I will say hide edges as you can see now showing the edges getting me so let's suppose if you want to show the edges getting me the outline is what we can say the outline so let's suppose if you want to show and hide the edges of your object whatever you are seeing now this is this is stroke not the edge getting me it is just the stroke color and just the stroke I can also change the stroke size here getting me and the stroke color here so it's not uh, it's not the edge getting me so let's suppose if you want to see the edge what you need to do you need to just simply click on view and uh, here we say the show edges and now as you can see that now it is showing edges getting me and what do we have next we have a height artboard so if I zoom out a little bit so okay so as you can see that now I have this artboard or this page so let's suppose if I just want to hide this how can I hide I will go in a view and I will click on uh, <coughs> hide artboard as you can see that now we are not able to see we are not if I zoom on so as you can see that now I don't have artboard anymore getting me so let's suppose if you want to hide artboard or an easy word we can say if you want to hide page so how can you hide you need to just simply come in view and uh, we have the option hide artboard so right now uh, I want to see or uh, definitely I want to see artboard so what I do I will just simply click on show artboard and as you can see that now it's showing me this artboard getting me then show print tiling so what basically print tiling is we have learned this we definitely we have learned it that uh, what basically print tiling is and in, in, in a uh, you can say print tiling uh, tool so basically what basically print tiling is let's suppose if you have a page and definitely if let's suppose if you have two big page and if uh, if, uh, if you have a printer for a4 getting me so definitely if you have too much big page so you can show you can just show the uh, the part you can just show the part that okay just do the print of it so definitely in order to do this we use print tiling tool getting me so let's suppose if you want to show the print tiling so what you need to do you need to just simply come in view and uh, you need to just simply click on show print tiling and if I zoom in little bit so as you can see that this line is coming okay uh, as you can see this line is coming and inside whatever it will be inside of this line or the sign of this box it will be printed getting me so definitely if you want to show this print tiling line so definitely you need to come in view and you have to click on print tiling I, I don't want to show right now so what I do I just simply click on high print tiling and now I'm not able to see that print tiling line anymore or box anymore and then what do we next so we have show slices and lock slices so slices definitely we have learned that what basically slices are uh, in our slices definitely slice tool so it's basically slice is basically slice or or you can say picture so let's suppose if you want to if, let's suppose if I've used a slash tool so after this what I do I will go in view and here I can say hide slice so let's suppose if you if you don't want to see uh, this uh, these lines anymore so you need to come in view and you need to click on hide slice and as you can see that now I'm not getting slice anymore getting so if you want to if you want to show or hide slice so you need to come in view and you need to cl click on show and hide slice uh, right now I don't have that's why I will click on show and definitely if I, if I click and definitely as you can see that now I'm able to see these slices getting me and let's suppose if you want to hide this slice because when we use uh, you can say size uh, slice selection tool so definitely I can change uh, you can uh, you can say uh, the, the the position of my slice getting me so let's suppose if you want to hide or if you want to lock the slices you can also lock the slices and if these slices are locked then I will not be able to move the slices anymore getting me so this was a lecture on uh, view menu in Adobe Illustrator and the remaining options we will learn in next lecture I hope you understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navidplace.com I love you, Yaman, and I will meet you in the next session. Till then, I'll have this.